Castle? This has to be the locked room. How the hell did I get in here? Damn blackouts. But Mordred is strong. I can feel him. I don't have a lot of time left. few shards lying under the table. Hey, I definitely know that from somewhere. The Guardian's highest virtue is faith, as much in himself as in God. These notes, who's writing them to me? Am I writing them myself? Or Mordred? So I didn't dream it. It actually happened. That's the book from the Ritual Chamber. Mordred's book. The pages are empty. Damn. Can't be. What the? Everything is in the book. And now there's nothing in the book. Okay, keep calm. Remember, in the ritual chamber with Angelina, the blood of a male Gordon. If I drop some of my blood onto the book, then, then the writings ought to become visible. Hmm, a piece of glass. That ought to do it. Ow! <sighs> Nothing. Not a single letter. Stop. Here. Here's something. Oh, no, it's just Mordred's dumbass summoning formula. All that for nothing. But I have to do something. I can't just let Mordred win. I'd rather be dead than a centuries-old murderer. My father has already trodden this path. It might be the simplest way, but it's also the most effective. Without me, there is no Mordred. My death will be his as well. I've got no other choice. very last descendant. And I am him. The story of the Wardens ends with me. No! Adrian, don't do it! Go away! Come down, Adrian. You can't do that. There is another way. What do you know? More than you think. I can help you beat the curse. Trust me, please. Come down here, please. Who sent you, and why? My employer is the Vatican. Have you ever heard of the apostolic visitation? We're mainly concerned with supernatural phenomena, what are commonly known as miracles. The Vatican. There I was thinking it couldn't get much worse, and the church comes knocking at the door. I was sent here because we had been informed that Black Mirror Castle had burned down. It was apparently just a routine mission. I was to sort out legal matters and release the funds for the Gordons to rebuild the castle. But then I found out that Victoria Gordon was on her deathbed and that Angelina was nowhere to be found. My task then became to secure the Gordon's inheritance and to minimize the effects of the curse as best I could. 
the effects of the curse. What is inheritance? Adrian, your eyes. Yeah, I know. They're black. What do you know about the curse of the Gordons? Mordred wanted immortality and power. He somehow anchored his soul in the mirror, but he was caught during a ritual by his brother. Shortly before his death, he cursed Marcus's descendants to collect souls, in order that he could be called back into life with them. And it would seem it worked, judging by your eyes. Collect souls? You mean, no people? Yes. You're, you're wrong. I haven't killed anyone, and still Mordred lives in me. As far as I can gather, your twin sister, Angelina, did that for you. We got it all wrong. Angelina was originally supposed to take over the Guardian role. We didn't know anything about you. We thought the last male Gordon committed suicide 12 years ago. What do you mean, Guardian role? You mean to guard these portals, right? That is the Gordon's inheritance. The Guardians are people of pure heart, who were chosen by the Church a long time ago to guard the Black Mirror. The Black Mirror? Yes, a great mirror, which also serves as an ancient portal and lies deep beneath the castle. Marcus Gordon took over this duty and passed it on to his children. But how should a Gordon stay pure of heart if they're all destined to murder? Your family has produced more Guardians than it has murderers. Only Marcus's descendants are in a position to resist the Black Mirror. We still don't know why. However, we don't have any time now to research the exact reason for this, and then find an alternative Guardian from outside the Gordon family. So, I'm definitely your last hope then. How do you know all this? From the Vatican archives, and also from this book here, which I found in the library. It's the Book of the Guardians. There are no longer any Guardians of Pure Heart here, just Mordred. Adrian, right from birth, you were destined to become a Guardian. Without Angelina, Mordred's curse would never have passed over to you. Victoria would never have wanted nor permitted you to kill yourself. Do you want to simply ignore her final wishes? Adrian, if you're going to kill yourself, everything could only get worse. If there were no longer any guardians, then the black mirror would be open to all. The mirror would enslave the weak and bring Mordred back into the world of the living. And the black mirror will be unprotected. Victoria would have never allowed you to commit suicide. Are you going to simply ignore Victoria's last will. All right, then. I'll give you one chance. Did I understand that correctly? I'm the last Gordon of Marcus's lineage, and therefore also the last guardian? But I can't guard the portal because a, a cursed part of me, the Mordred part, wants to open the portal. And if I kill myself, the portal can be opened because there are no more guardians. Something like that, yes. So, what do you suggest? An exorcism, in the church. An exorcism? It's an ancient ritual. Long before there were Christians, ghosts and demons were being cast out of people. It works. You only have to believe in it, Adrian. I'm possessed by the devil. Don't talk to me about belief. <sighs> okay, I'll do it. Thank you, Adrian. And now let's go to the church. We should complete the exorcism before night. So, uh, how does a person get to work for the Vatican? Later. Holy Mother in Heaven! Yeah, a good day to you too, Father. Prioress Santolini, welcome back. You've arrived at just the right time. Now do you see why I was in such a hurry? Miss Antolini has had an idea about how to solve my problem. Yes, I've been informed. The Archbishop has told me about it himself. Five minutes later and you would have had to inform Mark as well. Father, 
Have you ever performed an exorcism? I've been the priest for the whole manner of Black Mirror for years. Everyone here has been baptized by me, and my words accompany them to the grave, too. I've taken the confessions of murderers, and I... Father, have you or haven't you? No, not in practice. But I do have the theoretical knowledge, of course. Oh, great. I'm the guinea pig. Adrian, I've been trained for something like this. I've studied the Rituale Romanum several times. And if Prioress Santolini thinks it's the best option, then I agree with her. After all, she is... well... Uh... I've already told Adrian who I work for, but I'm afraid we don't have time to discuss this for hours on end. Good. Then let's begin the preparations. Okay, and what can I do? We need information. So the more we know about the demon, the better. We already have his name, so we can address him. Do you know any more about him? What would be important? It would be good to know how he sinned. And a personal item. Something that anchors him in this world. Then I'll get searching. But be quick. I'll prepare everything with the priest. Maybe this was the book that Victoria meant as she was dying. She said that everything was in the book. Oh, damn it, Valentina. I was never able to find it like that. I don't have the time to read everything. But at first glance, it looks like it's just full of stories about the White Lady. It even tells here about how she died. In the final duel with my brother, she threw herself between us to stop the bloodshed, but he was no longer the brother I once knew. The evil had corrupted him too much. How great must this power have been to make him forget all of the battles in which we had fought together side by side? How incessantly overpowering must the evil be to make him forget just how much he had loved his wife Maria. His blade pierced her heart and snapped as though it were made from glass. That was also the end of my brother. But then with his final breath, he cursed me and all my descendants. I killed my brother. I will never be able to forgive myself for that. His final resting place will be in our chapel. May God have mercy on his soul. Hmm, that must be a transcript from Marcus's writings. Here's the whole story of Maria's death. In the final duel... The priest seems to hold her in high regard. Maybe she really knows what she's doing. Father Frederick. My son? Mordred's wife was called Maria. Ah, that's good to know. Those are worldly, familial things. I'm sure we can address Mordred with that. Particularly if he loved her. Well, he murdered her. With a sword. Oh, that's excellent. For our purposes, I mean. Is that all you have found out? Yeah. We're still not ready. Go have another look around the castle. I haven't got time now to get to know her better. I first need to collect some information about Mordred.
can't show up in the village with black eyes. I'd probably end up getting lynched by an angry mob with pitchforks and flaming torches. And if I'm gonna play the Guardian, then I ought to stay alive for as long as I can. Good day, sir. Edward, I completely forgotten about him. A letter to Lewis from Angelina. Lewis, I... Luna's definitely gonna be pleased about the letter. <laughs> Sir? Hi, uh, Edward. I didn't expect you so soon. If it's inconvenient, I could come back another time. Do you notice anything about me? What do you mean, sir? Around my eyes, perhaps? With respect, sir, they're perhaps a touch darker than normal. A temporary indisposition, I assume? I wish. Why are you here again? You said I should come by during the course of the day, about an eventual position as butler. Oh, yes. <laughs> Excuse me, Edward. As you see, I, I don't really have time just now, and... Perhaps I can help you. Actually, there is something. It would be great if you could deliver this letter to Inspector Spooner. Tell him I found it while tidying up the greenhouse. Of course, sir. You're not going to tell anyone else about it? The thing with my eyes, I mean? Most certainly not, sir. Discretion is the most important virtue of a butler. Hmm. Good man. In other circumstances, he'd be the perfect new Bates. Madame Fortuna. Adrian, I knew you would call again. Who else could it be? Pick a card. Um, uh, stop. I've drawn the hero fund for you. Hero, huh? The hero fund. He is also called the shaman, the pope, or the high priest, Adrian. You will receive the assistance of a higher power. The only question being, which one? Ah, I see. Death. I'm not surprised. Oh, one moment. Now, what has the tower lost here, then? Now I've gone and dropped all my cards. Just a minute, Adrian. Could that maybe mean now that I'm gonna fall from a high tower? No. How do you come to have a silly idea like that? Ah, now then. I can see it clearly. Death will touch you. Or also, maybe not. Okay, that's enough. Thanks. <coughs> Mordred. Ah, he's down here. All on his own. Strange. Didn't Victoria say he was married? And even had a kid? Why aren't they on here?
I can see that I look as bad as I feel. <laughs> Photos of my ma and pa. They can't help me anymore either. And what have we got here? A pair of pliers. Oh, I don't need them right now. There's a rope dangling right in front of the window. Or is it a noose? Better take it, I guess. A rope, at least 20 meters long, but not particularly thick. It wouldn't be strong enough to hang yourself with. A shaky old bed, full of woodworm, Perfect for dying in. Even if the pages are blank, maybe the book will be useful for the exorcism. Who knows? It did once belong to Mordred, after all. The book from the ritual chamber. No idea how I got this. But that doesn't matter anyway. Many pages are empty. from a scribe of Pope Innocent III. It contains instructions for further procedure in terms of the incident with Mordred. Letter from the Holy... The Guardian's highest virtue is faith, as much in himself as in God. If there can be demons and portals to other worlds, and the existence of God is not quite such a crazy proposition as I had once thought. Ah, Adrian, there you are. I've sorted everything out with Valentina for now. Father Frederick? My son? I found a book that belonged to Mordred, but all the pages are blank. How do you know it belonged to him, then? It's from... his grave. Hmm. We can divert his attention from you with it. You'd better give that to me. Now we have enough information. Okay, so what happens now? Just lie down here and trust in Jesus, our Lord. Miss Antolini, are you recording? This is the exorcism of Adrian Gordon, present our Father Frederick, pastor of the Church of Wormhill, as conducting exorcist, and as witness and doctor, Prioress Valentina Antonini. It has begun, let us pray. In, In nomine, nomine Patris, Patris et Filii, et Filii et Spiritus, et Spiritus Sancti. Sancti. Amen. Amen. Most glorious prince of the heavenly armies, Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in our battle against principalities and powers, against the rulers of this world of darkness, against the spirits of wickedness in the high places, 
come to the assistance of men whom God has created to his likeness and whom he has redeemed at a great price from the tyranny of the devil. We know your name, demon. You that calls itself Mordred. Release Adrian, I command you in the name of our Lord. Stoop down in Peter's spirit. Mordred, you who made yourself guilty during life and therefore remain guilty in death and beyond, go to the hell in which you belong. Go into purgatory where you should burn sinner for all your deeds. Behold the cross of the Lord. Mordred, you who has raised the weapon against your brother Marcus, you who murdered your wife with the blade of your sword, Maria, whose soul has found no peace since then. Behold the cross of the Lord. Guilty you are, Mordred. And guilty you will always be. Bow beneath the all-powerful hand of God. Release Adrian and go there where you can receive the vengeance of God. Father Frederick. I saw him. He spoke to me. It's, it's the wrong place. There's nowhere for him to go here. Not from his world. Oh, Father. Adrian. Adrian, wake up!